so here is our blinking cursor and the left arrow moves one character at a time so you move 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 you tap 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 simple right arrow is the same thing only it's in the opposite direction right arrow one character at a time so we're going to go right of content onto on and then onto youtube then we're going to move on to the down arrow which goes down one line at a time so every time you click 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 you go down then we have our up arrow which is the opposite of down and we go up 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 and then we have our control left arrow so control left arrow takes you left one word at a time so we just went over glitches so what we do we hold down the control arrow which is here and then we go left and then we go R and then error so it skips over everything and it applies the same thing for right it skips over every word every punctuation mark every space so let's start from errors so we're going right so it's going to go over errors over the comma and the space over R and the space over glitches and the space over changed and the space so it's pretty straightforward now we have our home button which takes us to the beginning of the current line some desktop keyboards have the home button standing alone in this case it's incorporated with the left arrow so to get that to function we press alt home we press function home okay so function which is fn home that's how we activate the home button that's incorporated on the left arrow button for the end button which takes you to the end of the current line we press function on a keyboard like this and end and we see where it goes to the end of the line if you have as i said before a bigger keyboard these buttons stand alone the home and the end button will stand alone control function home and it takes us to the beginning of the document so it's a bit different on this laptop so for control home and end on this laptop we have to touch three buttons and the reason for that is because control left arrow already means to skip a word going left and control n already means skip a word going right now because this home button and end buttons are incorporated on the arrow buttons we have to press function also for it to work so if you were to have like a desktop computer and then you have a, a separate keyboard that would work like that but because this laptop kind of kind of shrunk the function of the keys so that it could fit on the laptop we have to press control function home for it to go to the beginning of the document and control function end for it to go to the end of the document to get to the beginning of the previous page we press control function page up if you were using a normal keyboard all you would have to press is control page up but as I said again the page up button is incorporated on the arrow up button so control page down takes you to the beginning of the next page so again because this laptop has the page down button on the arrow key we have to press this function key along with the control key so we're going to go control function page down and it takes us to the beginning of the next page then we have our page up option which takes up the screen one screen at a time or or up one screen so we're going to press function up up 
up, right? And for page down, we're going to press function down, down, down. Remember, if your keyboard does not have it incorporated like this, you won't have to press the function keys. But if you have a laptop like I do, where the home and page up and page down buttons are incorporated on the arrow buttons, you have to press that function key along with any other key or control key to make these functions work.